Ciao beautiful people and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm so, so happy to meet you. Today, I want to be showing you guys how I made this beautiful bubble textured um, card. Well, they're the backdrop for cards. Um, it's a super, super fun technique. You can make it home with your kits. Um, I'm sure they will fight. They will be more than happy to, to play around. Uh, please don't do like me, just Please work gloves. Um, this is another messy crafty project. Uh, before we crack on, I would just ask you guys to subscribe to my channel, please. And please join me on my Instagram, which I will put the link just on the screen now. Right, so the fun part of this, um, this technique, this is a really old technique we learned actually at school. Um, we used to do this to um, decorate um, pottery. So I've done, as I told you before, guys, I have studied uh, fine art when I was um, was a college. So I did a bit of painting, um, <clears throat> pottery, like all that sort of like crafty things. Uh, and then I graduate into fashion and then I move into visual merchandising, which is totally um, different for when I started. But at the end of the day, it's just all a creative journey. So those cards are super, super fun to make. Um, and they're totally random. So you can control what you're going to create. So, so far I've done in two different colours. I've um, done red and blue. Um, just because those two colours are showing up on camera better. Now, as you can see, the card is still a bit wet. Hence why they, they tend to fold inwards. But once they're totally dry, I will press them and then they will stay, um, they will stay flat. Um, the good things about this is that you could um, laminate this and you can create just bookmarks or cards or boxes, anything that you like. So on here, I use too much colour, so hence why um, the colour was too dark and I didn't put enough soap. Um, but I'm going to show you in just a second how to create those cute, gorgeous textures. Right guys, so what we need, we need a little bowl, soap, water, a straw and some acrylic paint. So I'm going to use this one, I'm going to use some black um, black paint because um, I just want to see what the, the black texture looks like. So first off, we're going to put some acrylic paint in the bottom of the bowl. So we've got some, a bit of water in there. Then we're gonna put some soap, four squeezes, and then we're gonna put some water. What you guys do, you just mix it. Just make sure the paint and the soaps are totally dissolved and mixed. It's only take a few seconds. Recommend to use um, to cover your work surface and cover yourself um, because this is another messy crafty project. Okay, so keep mixing. Okay, so once the water and the colour and the soaps are all incorporated, you're just going to start blowing using your um, your straw so just simply bought now because I don't want my head to be on camera I'm just gonna show you close up so you see you simply create bubbles and then get your paper and simply dip dip your paper into the foam and you get the bubble effect. Now, this will dry. When it's dry, you can see all the bubbles in a really nice, uh, nice fine line. Okay, I'm gonna make a few. Just simply dip and turn, dip and turn. Looks like marble, like a marble effect.
Now we're going to use purple. I just pick, pick, trying to pick a really bright color because the um, the foam is not really bright. Um, so I would suggest like deep oranges like that or like deep yellow. Just use really vibrant color. Um, so it will show off on the when the, the foam starts to fall to form. Just put soap, water, and just mix it. And only take less than a minute. What you could try and do, you can mix two colours together, but the water, when you do one colour, the water, the the paper needs to be totally dry. Otherwise, it won't absorb the foam. Because I tried to do that when um, the first colour with the first layer of foam was still wet. The, the paper was soaked, so it didn't absorb the other colour. Oh, look, I stay on my, my, my hand. Fantastic. So please wear gloves. Don't say I didn't tell you. Right. And again, I'm gonna do some piece of cards and I'm gonna do a really big piece of A4. Right, let's blow some bubbles. Look at that. Absolutely super cute. guys all back so i just want to show you what we've done so we've done purple this is what i was telling you about you see how deep that purple was in the in the bowl and um, because of course the the bubble is not as defined you're only going to see a dull color hence why i recommend to use really dark bright vibrant color i think my favorite is the blue one and i don't know why because it reminds me of um the sea so i can see this i can see the sea i can see this being um super cute under the sea card with some fishes and a coral or a little mermaid um really really cute really cute and uh, i do like the black ones as well which of course they look more gray every and every piece will be unique so no two cars will be the same. So I'll show you the red. And it's all it all depends how the the bubble and how you position and turn the um, the paper in the bowl. I think that's the most gorgeous one. Now what you can do guys as well, so you saw me using a little bowl, but you can use a tray as well. So if you use a, a thin like a thin large tray and um, you get like a bigger surface when you work but when you blow your bubbles it takes longer because of course the surface is is bigger so the bowl being a small surface when you blow your when you blow the air the bubbles come up quicker so you just dip it dip the paper and you know it's, it's such a quicker quicker process rather than 
if you use a big tray. Right guys, I hope you like this technique. If you did, please give me the usual thumbs up because that will support the video doing well. Please guys, if you do it, just tag me and I wanna see your creation. Um, I'm on Instagram as well, so feel free to tag me on uh, anything that you guys make following my, um, my ideas. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the guys, to the channel guys, that will mean the world to me. Have a fantastic day, stay safe, and I will see you very soon. Bye.